Hey camera guys, go take the day off. I had my own 10 pounds this week. I got fat on Memorial Day. Hey, what's up guys, be off boxing. Welcome to the Minecraft Monday show. Here every week covering everything you need to know about Minecraft and what's going on to keep updated. But not only that, showing off the awesome stuff that's going on within our Minecraft community. Oh my God. By the way, I totally almost forgot. 500,000 Box Forcians are now subscribed. Thank you, for everybody, for liking the video, subscribing to them. The crazy three years have gone by. Not bad for being full-time Air Force and doing this on the side. Thank you for all the support over the years, guys. It's only about to get more awesome as I'm about to do it full-time. More shows, more skits, more awesome, more fun, more live streams. Ah! It's gonna get great. Oh yeah, and more songs. <laughs> All right, now, snapshot-wise, you guys did have 14W21B come out, but you won't have one this week because it's a holiday and another Swedish holiday, and Sweden has a lot of holidays, so there's probably not going to be a big command block update like there was again this week and most of the month. Now, are you somebody who owns a Vita? <laughs> who am I kidding? No, do you really? Comment down below. But if you own an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 in August, you're now going to have Minecraft. All the way from E3 last year, which is coming up in two weeks. Already a whole year is now coming out when they first teased it. All right, now hear me out, PC Master Race, because they got a bunch of cool ideas at least. Because with the Xbox 360, you can transfer your worlds over to your Xbox One. Also, PlayStation 3 to the PlayStation 4. Pretty cool. Not to mention, you don't have to rebuy Minecraft if you already bought it. You can just upgrade for a minimal fee. Now this applies to both the physical retail and the digital download version and will cost $7.45. As for the PlayStation 4 though, it currently only applies to the digital version of the PlayStation 3 edition. Although Mojang are working with Sony on that. Brand new, the PlayStation 4 of Minecraft is going to cost $19.99. And the PlayStation 3 edition will automatically unlock the Vita edition when it launches. And Mojang are working with Sony to extend the deal to physical releases as well. So there you go. If you happen to have a Vita, you get it for free if you already own the PlayStation 3 version. That's pretty awesome. So comment down below. Creeper Bar Question of the Week. Why not already? For 100 bucks for Jinx.com, for winners as I do every week, comment down below. Are you going to get it? What are you going to get if you could only get one? The Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 version? Literally, Minecraft is everywhere accessible right now, even on the Fire HD TV from Amazon. It's crazy. Everywhere but the Wii. But you know, Microsoft, they do have their exclusive content, and it's Halo, including the Xbox Live Arcade version of Minecraft Halo that's going to be coming out. All hope is lost for getting anything Halo related on any other system. Really, can't even get a Minecraft Halo version on the PlayStation. Get used to seeing these mashups all the time with EA and all them taking advantage of the rights. You get more than just 40 character skins, but also the texture pack and the music from Halo. It also has iconic Halo multiplayer worlds that you'd murder your friends on back in the day. Maps like Guardian, Halo, Blackout, Sand Trap 1 and 2, Scarab, Silent Cartographer, Valhalla, and of course, the iconic Blood Gulch. But still, only for Xbox. Sorry guys. What else is new? I've been talking with Mojang and they're looking to add more mini games to Minecraft Realms. You never know what might get added, but as you can see, they already have a big list of them because now Minecraft Realms is worldwide. But some of you may be still saying, what the hell is Minecraft Realms? It is basically an automated server, one click and play for a very minimal fee every month. So you can invite up to 10 of your friends by just selecting their username. They see their invite and they can jump into your world. That world in which you can load up a vanilla world anytime you want, start up a new one, or kickstart these mini games. Now I'm all about using Minecraft and technology to decrease world suck and further education. And of course, Minecraft EDU has been doing that for years. I've been talking about them and updating them forever, but what about these other teachers that are doing some other stuff? Well, one teacher is using this to create stop motion movies of the words that they're having trouble spelling. So in class, they can literally remember the song that they made up for it or the movie. But they're also using this with Minecraft to help explore US history and see what it's like to move west. Working in groups of five, they assign tasks to create a homestead, plant crops, and create that iconic railroad. So they all jump on a server in class and move west together. Just more and more ideas to show this off and be more interactive. 
Oh, and I did say that Minecraft is just about everywhere but the Wii, right? It's also not on things like Steam. Now, years ago, Jens and Notch brought up about why they don't want Minecraft on Steam. Before it was things about the modding rights and permission, the way they had to recode things, such as need an API to make it happen. Because in order for something to be on the Steam Workshop, it has to have a modding API. Well, Jens addressed it again this week, saying now that one of the issues is that having to deal with a double login for accounts. So once again, another reason, but would you like to have Minecraft on Steam? Do you think it even really matters? In the end, what it comes down to, you could always add your own game like Minecraft onto the Steam library, but I still think one day that you could see Minecraft on Steam once that mod API is in order. Because once you open up that Steam Workshop, modding websites and custom clients and all this stuff is completely unnecessary. You can just simply start up a workshop. Woo! That was a lot. Now, what about all the awesomeness that you guys are up to in the community? From the videos to the downloadable content that you guys gave other people to skins. Now, I'm going to jump right into it, though, with the videos. Now, if you blame your hardware for having trouble playing Minecraft, you can stop. People are always messing around with new ways to play Minecraft. Well, how about running Minecraft on a router with only 32 megabytes of RAM? 32 megabytes! Better yet, what about a CNC wood router? An actual wood cutting router that was coded to have this little snowman golem follow you around and everywhere he went, that's where the wood router went and cut an actual image. And here I was making a bread box growing up in my wood chopping class. I could have just did this and made whatever I want a lot easier with no talent besides running around in Minecraft. But you know what? Mobs need a friend too. And this one, you may not know how it's gonna end. Sometimes mobs are just lonely and wandering the world, loading into random places until somebody like you comes along to save them. This next really quick one is called Craftables, an animation that takes a look at the revamped trapped chest. More than just making them redstone power, it ends a little bit more dark. And finally, an animation, the hunt for Batman. Enderman versus Batman. Also, you get to see what zombies are exactly doing when you're not looking. Batman really just ends up bothering everybody. And the last animation, I, I meant to catch up with Wii Line animation videos. This is one of the best animators that I know. He's a great guy. Check this out, minecart modifications. As he animates Steve thinking, he can just take a simple minecart modification that takes way more than just a simple crafting bench. He doesn't really hang on to it too long though. Now it's time to give you guys amazing downloads. All these are fully downloadable. So go ahead and get your hands on them. I'll call this segment, HOLY SHIT 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 Did you see that? And the first one is rightfully named Pandemonium. It's straight up hell. I don't want to go near any of these structures, even as hellhounds walking about on top just for the hell of it. But overall, this is a nether that I never want to join. Next is a palace of endless summers. I love builds that focus on design and intricate styles. Better yet, when they put that on everything, from the statues to the pillars to the embroidery all around. They also built this with the terrain they were given, so it has a nice natural element to it. With nature growing all around and taking over this magnificent city. But Final Fantasy fans are gonna love this one, a replica of Sin. If you guys don't know, Sin is the major protagonist in Final Fantasy X. And it's a gargantuan whale-like beast which threatens the world of Sparia. His replica captures him nicely when he isn't trying to kill everything in sight. Now skins this week, guys, you can go ahead and pop on your own body. Not creepy. Villager of the Deep I found. A fairy tale skin, Frogsworth, a Martian here, and badass Carter. If you guys don't remember, this is a kid from Reddit. He showed up at my door, asked for a banana, and just left. Now they made a skin of him. Well, hey guys, that's it for me. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It helps out and spread the word to your fellow Minecraft addicts. But not only that, if you guys want to submit anything, send it to me over on my Twitter, twitter.com slash beallvox. Send me all the awesome that you guys find because, come on, we have one of the best gaming communities in any other game. Minecraft is just all about sharing and showing off the awesome. Shaboom, keep it going, paying it forward. You can also submit stuff over on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Bebop Vox. The other one is the Minecraft Monday Show one. It's confusing. And happy Memorial Day, guys. I hope you had an awesome day off, and we'll see you guys next week and throughout the week. So watch and stay tuned and check out the gaming channel with more. Oh my god, watch the highlight video. I forgot about that. The uh, Modded Madness highlights. Woo, it's insane. It's on this channel, you guys get just a little taste of what goes on over on my gaming channel. Ooh, that's about to hit 100,000 subscribers too. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time.